Hey folks, you're always from vtxreviews.com. You're watching our video review of the Samsung Digitizer, Digitizer Stylus Pen. This is actually an exclusive accessory designed for the Samsung Slate 7 tablet, which runs on Windows 7. It's a Wacom en uh, enabled uh, stylus, com uh, stylus for a companion if you are someone that uh, does a lot of graphic art or just wants something to copy and paste content a lot and don't want to use a traditional finger for touching the screen or you don't want to use the mouse, this is a great option to go. Now the price for this device is actually pretty moderate, coming in around $60. It might seem steep at first, but if you consider that most Wacom enabled styluses tend to cost more than that, you are getting a pretty good deal if you already have the tablet. Now, despite the fact that this product is an exclusive for the Samsung 7 Slate, it actually will work with other uh, tablet PCs out there that use a Wacom enabled stylus. Um, a differentiating factor between this Wacom stylus and something provided, for example, by Intrig is it offers a, a higher level of a kind of, you know, sensitive, higher level of pressure sensitivity in terms of graphic design artwork. This one has over 1,000 levels for both the eraser and the pen tip, which is pretty impressive, if, especially if you want to use applications like Corel Draw or Adobe Photoshop. And in addition, offers just generically a little bit more precision than the Intrig sensor on board. So we are pretty excited in terms of that. Taking a look at the packaging, something I want to point out that's kind of uh, humorous, but doesn't really take away or gain from the packaging from Samsung is that the text here is extremely sharp. It's not showing up too well on the camera, but it's actually almost like HD quality. But then you get come, uh, come over here and look at the style and the um, image of the tablet on here. Again, it's not really showing up on camera, but it actually looks extremely fuzzy in real person. It's almost like a clip art. So this sharp contrast between the images here and kind of the text is a little bit humorous from my point of view. But again, taking a look at the packaging here, very simplistic. You have a warranty guide in the box. We have something like a ring stand. I'm not really exactly sure. So if you know what this is, provide me with a comment uh, in the section below and kind of tell me what you guys think this actually is. But we'll come back to that in a moment. Um, again, in here we have uh, the actual pen itself of course. In addition, we have some pen, uh, pen tips, which is a nice feature to have, and essentially that's it in the packaging. Um, the pen tips here essentially uh, are made out of plastic, and um, if you're writing on something and it wears down over time, again, if you do a lot of doodling or drawing, it's going to wear off pretty fast. So it's nice that Samsung includes, uh, let me see here, about five pen tips that you can replace your device with, uh, which is pretty nice because these can actually get pretty expensive if you buy them separately online. They're held together by this nice rubbery texture here. So the actual pen itself is pretty nicely designed. It's made entirely out of plastic and kind of lightweight, but it feels pretty solid in the hand, about the same way as a traditional ballpoint pen, I would argue. You. Nothing too light, uh, nothing you know too heavy. There isn't a grip here either, so it's again very similar to a traditional pencil as you're writing and drawing. The pen tip here is actually extremely sharp as well, so I'm a little bit nervous about it scratching the screen over time, but at the very least it has a lot of precision involved. So for the smaller icons on the screen, it's going to be very, very easy to write and type on with these with this actual uh, pen. Again, the pen here essentially replaces a traditional mouse, and as such, when clicking on something, it dubs again as the left click button, but if you want to use the right click, you would basically press this key over here and that dubs as a right click key. As with all Wacom enabled styluses, this device actually doesn't have a battery on here or a battery that you can replace. So essentially it has, uh, it's a technology that kind of evolves, you know, around without the ability to actually kind of swap out batteries whenever it runs out, which is pretty cool. So essentially, um, as long as you want to use this, this stylus, you're not going to have to swap out the battery. So that's going to save you quite a bit of money over time, which is a feature that we like. The top of the device features the eraser tip, again, with as much sensitivity as the bottom. So if we're drawing, we can write something and then we can turn it over and erase it. So it's a pretty nice feature to have. The clip on here is also a quite important feature because the actual Samsung 7 Slate lacks a placeholder for the stylus or a stylus slot. And as a result, you have to really clip this onto your shirt to prevent your uh, to prevent yourself from losing it if you are traveling or taking this outside a lot. Overall, we do like the overall design, pretty simplistic and minimalistic, but uh, also quite nice in terms of the width and the, and the feeling in the hand. Not really sure, again, what this is. Perhaps a placeholder for the pen, but I'm still kind of confused. So now if we take a quick look at how the device actually performs and is paired up to the actual tablet, we'll have the tablet on the side here. Let me show you uh, the paint application and find that on the actual uh, on the actual Samsung 7 Slate and show you how, again, how it really works. So this is the Slate uh, from Samsung and you can see that you can take notes using the paint application. It's not the greatest, greatest example because it doesn't show off the levels of sensitivity. It's a one pressure kind of point, but you will notice that the stylus kind of hovers about above the screen whenever you're not pressing it if you look really closely. So it's a, it's a electromagnetic technology that's uh, different from a capacitive stylus by offering a lot more pressure sensitivity and a lot more sensitivity in general. So you can doodle around, so just like writing on a pen on paper, it's very glossy. The 
feeling is really good. So you can type out messages, write out messages, use handwriting recognition, add notes for different in different uh, situations, like in appointments, in meetings, or if you're a student taking notes during class, you can draw with it. And overall, we are, again, definite, definite fans of the design. It's really easy to, again, to edit, to doodle, if you are a graphic artist, to play around with it. So if you want to do something like OS reviews, we can put it here. The first thing you need to do is put your hand down, but then you can actually put, put in the pen uh, as well. It, it works pretty well. So we can write something like OS reviews. And you can see it's just like writing anything like on, on regular paper. And so it works pretty well, even if, you're, if your thumb is kind of rested against the panel of the touchscreen, which is pretty impressive indeed. So overall, it's definitely a great experience as far as, you know, usability. It feels really nicely constructed. It works very, very well when you're powering the system and the ecosystem in general. So we definitely are fans of, again, the pen's usability and the functionality that it adds to your tablet PC. So essentially, what it boils down to is if you are a graphic artist, if you want something that is slightly different from a traditional mouse or you're just tired of touching the screen with your fingers, the stylus is a great way to go, especially because it's made by Wacom, has a lot of quality in terms of the construction and adds a lot of value to your product, again, if you are a graphic designer. Um, otherwise, though, if you don't exactly need it, um, again, you can always use a capacitive stylus, which is a lot more inexpensive. They cost only about $2 versus $70 over here. But again, it's not as professional and it's going to be not not as sensitive to use. So thanks for watching this video review of the Samsung Digitizer Stylus Pen for the Samsung 7 Slight Tablet. And if you are looking for a Wacom tablet uh, or again, a Wacom stylus for your tablet, this one is a great candidate to go and it's uh, powered by Wacom technology. Thanks for watching here at OSMVTXReviews.com and also our brother site at OSTechNews.com.